Michael Hammaker says he was stunned when he opened his front door and found other people essentially living in his home that he's trying to sell. He's hoping for a peaceful resolution, but says damage from the squatters could cost him the sale. Took about a step or two in and immediately saw candles burning, a cat walked by, um, basically all signs of somebody currently staying here. The house was supposed to be empty the day before Michael Hammaker was scheduled to close on a sale. Instead, he says squatters moved in. He says a person inside the home said they paid $500 a month to rent the home from someone on Craigslist. Michael says they initially acknowledged they were scammed, but then refused to leave and changed the lock on the back door. I offered to give them a, or a week in a hotel and rent a moving truck because he said, you know, they didn't have resources to move out. I knocked on the door several times throughout the day to try to get someone inside to talk to me, but no one answered. I spoke with Michael's frustrated realtor who says her firm offered the squatters one of their rental homes for a month for free, but they still refused to go. Attorney Jennifer Box says they do have rights and you must file with Dayton Municipal Court to formally evict them. She says your first call has to be to police, then an attorney. You can still press charges. Um, but I don't know if the cops are going to remove them from the premises without a, a bailiff and an eviction action. Um, I haven't seen any police ever do that, to be honest with you. A peace officer did come last Thursday to talk to one of the squatters, but Michael says during subsequent visits, even the officers seemed unsure about what happens next. They're not, not clear. It, it it's almost depends on which officers we get out here have different opinions, different thoughts, different takes on the law. As of tonight, Michael tells me the last person living in his home says she'll be out soon. Coming up tonight at 5, what you can do to make sure this doesn't happen at your home. In Dayton, Adam Rye, 2 News, working for you.